it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using this Hooray Kind of Day stamp set from MFT. So I've stamped out the images I'll be using on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Extreme Black Hybrid Ink and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my Fox and for her I'm using YR12, YR14, and YR18. So that YR18 is actually my darkest, even though the YR14 has a darker cap. Um, so I'm laying that in down the, mostly on the back side of her body, on the underside of her arms. And I did a little bit of definition on her muzzle right above her nose. And also I'm going to do her tail right at the same time since she's pretty small. Then I'm going to bring in the YR14 and begin to blend that out just by scrubbing over the edge of the YR18 and really breaking up that pigment and pulling it out. And I'm saving about half of that space for my lightest shade, the YR12. So once I have all the YR14 laid in, I'll bring in that highlight shade and fill in all the rest of the white space so she has a nice bright highlight on her especially since she's got her face tipped up toward the sun it just makes sense that she would have a lot of uh, light you know on there and i decided to leave her little feet white so that they would match the tip of her tail and the bottom of her face and her belly so she'll have some little white socks and I did also go in with a second layer on her just so that I would have a really nice blend and just increase the saturation and depth of color. So I'm just quickly going back over all of those areas. It's a lot faster to do the second time because everything's already mapped out and um, you can just quickly go over and um, you know, fill everything in once again. And it really does make a big difference. If you're struggling to get your markers to blend well, you might wanna try doing a second layer on your images. It makes a huge difference in my opinion. And also just make sure that the cardstock that you're coloring on was intended for alcohol markers. So now moving on to the white areas, and I'm using YR000 and YR00. So I'm adding a little bit of that YR00 in first for some shading, and then I will soften that up with the YR000 and let that fade into the white. I'll use R11 to give her a little rosy cheek, and I'm just adding that to the white area on her face, and I also colored in the inside of her ear. For the wagon, I'm using E53, E55, and E57. So I'm using the E57 first and bringing in my shadows from both sides and also putting a little bit of a shadow under the lip of the top part there and then blending toward the center with the E55 and filling in with the E53. And I'll also use those colors to color in the uh, body of the snail so I used the E57 um, and put the darkest shade on the right this time since he's got that big flower and I figured that would be casting a shadow on his face. So my shadow is kind of coming from the top right area and then I did the same under his chin and then also blended out with the E55 and E53. For the snail's shell, I'm using Y11, Y21, and Y26. So I'm starting with the Y26 and kind of defining the swirl there and then putting a little shadow behind his head and then I'm blending that out with the Y21. I wanted something that was a bit more of a golden yellow but I wanted to add just a tiny bit of brightness um, in the highlight, which is why I chose the Y11 in combination with those. And then I went back to the E55 because I forgot his little tail. 
For the terracotta pot, I'm using E93, E95, and E97, and I'm going to color it just like I did the wagon. I'm bringing in the E97 from the left and the right, and also putting a shadow under the lip, and then pulling towards the center with the E95 and filling in with the E93. And I find that this makes a really good terracotta color, um, but I did do a second layer just to intensify uh, those colors. For the greenery, I'm going to use YG11, YG13, and YG17. So I'm just starting with a little bit of the YG17 on the base of each of those leaves right where they're attached to the stems and also making sure to add some color to uh, the little green part that is right beneath the petals. I forget what that's called. <laughs> but anyway, once I have all of that laid in, I'm going to add the YG13 and blend that out. And I really didn't even end up using the YG11 just because they were so very tiny and there wasn't really space for a third shade. So I'm just making sure to use the very tip of my marker so that I get a nice thin little line. And then I did go back with the YG17 and just add a tiny little dot of that again to the base of the leaves to darken them up. I outlined the stems with the YG17 and some of my strokes there got a little bit away from me so I did go back with my colorless blender and kind of push that color back in so I could get a little bit of a skinnier line there. And then for the flowers I'm going to use R81, R83, and R85. And I went in with these first with the R81 just because I knew they were super tiny and I wasn't going to be able to really squeeze on all the colors just like I had the problem with the leaves unless I started with my lightest because the lightest would just kind of push away the darker colors. So then I came in with the R83 and then I'm going to finish with the R85 just really tiny little dots there. Um, just to have a bit of darkness and I didn't bother blending any of that out. I just left it as it was. Since the colors are so close together, they kind of just blend themselves. And then I trim these out with the matching dies. For my focal panel, I cut a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface with the Wonky Stitched Circle Stacks Dynamics. And I'm going to blend on some watercolor using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. I'm using number 042 Turquoise Green for the top. And I just scribbled that onto an acrylic block. And then I'm picking that up with my paintbrush and some clean water. And then I'm using number 044 May Green for the grass. So I'm just going to blend that right to at the bottom of the sky and then I'm also going to dot in some extra color just so I get some different light and dark areas. And once I'm happy with that, I will set that aside to dry completely. And while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and select my pattern papers and I'm using the Fun in the Sun collection from MFT. So I chose two different patterns that I thought would work really well from this paper pad. I have the nice big bold print with the florals and then I have the smaller um, kind of coral with the polka dots. So those two complement each other really well. But I did want a third pattern so I went to the Positively Preppy paper pad and I'm kind of going through that one to see what would work well with the other two. And I really liked this pink graphic tone on tone and uh, I thought that those three would look really great together. So I'm going to trim those down um, but in the meantime my focal panel is dry so I'm going to pop that into my Misty so that I can stamp my sentiment and I'm using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink to just stamp out the really short little sentiment that says love you. So I did that kind of at a curve at the top area there. And I did stamp that down several times to get a really dark impression. 
Then I'm going to pop my card base in my Misty. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Ballet Slippers cardstock and Peachy Keen ink to kind of go with that pinky, corally tones that are in the pattern paper. And I'm stamping the little bunny that's kind of cheering there with some flowers and the sentiment that says, you fill my heart all the way to the top, which is so sweet. And again, I stamped that down a couple times to get a good impression because these were brand new stamps that I hadn't inked up before. So uh, that just helped them get nice and primed. So I trimmed down my floral print with the Lawn Fawn Outside In Stitch Rectangle Stackables. And then the other two pieces I just trimmed down with my paper trimmer. So I'm going to glue the floral print down to the card. And that does trim off just a little bit of a border so you can see the colored cardstock poking through. Then I have the coral polka dot and I'm going to place that vertically on the card over on the left hand side. And then I'm using the pink graphic print horizontally across the kind of bottom center there. I added some foam tape to the back of my focal panel. So I will peel off the release papers and I'm going to pop that up on my card front and just making sure that that uh, horizon line between the grass and the sky is nice and straight. And then I can grab my little images and I'm going to adhere the fox pulling her little wagon first. So I'm going to put that sort of in the center of the card there. And you can see now why I chose such a short little sentiment because that just fit perfectly right up there in the sky. And then I'll add the little snail down toward the bottom, kind of overlapping the fox's tail just a tiny bit. To finish up the card, I found some enamel dots from my stash and some colors that matched the pattern paper and I even threw in one aqua one to kind of tie in the sky background. So I put a yellow, an aqua and a pink at the top left corner and then I'm just going to use a pink and a yellow in the bottom right. I will make sure that I have them exactly where I want them before I press them down into place so that adhesive adheres to the pattern paper. And that is going to complete my card for today. I'll give you another peek at the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stacy Yakala's images have been requested a whole bunch of times on my channel. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed them and you'd like to see me use more of them. This card will actually be on the Butterfly Reflections Ink blog today. So if you'd like to check out that post, I'll have a link down below, as well as links to all of the products used as I always do in the description bar. Please subscribe if you haven't and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought might also interest you. You can click on either one of those to check them out. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.